Okay, and we're recording. Eric, you can unmute yourself and go ahead and get started. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, welcome to another episode of uh, Tips and Tricks of AutoCAD, I mean, of uh, Fabs. But uh, we'll kind of go off of, um, to the side and not really talk about tips and tricks because I can't really think of any new ones. Um, but I do want to go over like, uh, you know, some errors that we constantly kind of come across or at least I come across and I've been kind of documenting them. So I just want to share it with everyone. Um, uh, let's start it off with the most recent ones. Uh, we just got a new install for AutoCAD 2020. Uh, just a couple of issues that I've come across uh, when the install happened for uh, AutoCAD 2020. So one of them was the batch print not working. So very easy. Uh, if your batch print is not working, check your local C drive, your local C drive, and then your inside your C drive should have an S drive, which is just a copy of, you know, our S drive on the server. And inside here, you should have a templates 2020. If you don't have that, you're not going to be able to run batch batch print. So you know you'll see a templates 2016. So that's related to AutoCAD 2016. So so on and so forth. So what happened there with me was, um, I guess when I, uh, well, Andrew's gonna run, or IT is gonna run it with you guys. Um, just make sure when you run a, a S drive sync 2020, you're connected to VPN and you have to make sure your S drive is synced, right? So just make sure you have that or else it's not gonna run properly. So what happened was when I ran it, it was supposed to take like, at least a few minutes, but it ran a few seconds, but um, no one kind of picked it up until after the fact. Zach was able to help me out. Okay, so that's one. Uh, the second thing, um, this wasn't really my issue. Uh, I think Ryan kind of came across this and Edgar. Well, actually I came across it too. So for 2020, we noticed that um, when you have an F we have the ortho on basically if you toggle F8 on AutoCAD 2020 or AutoCAD in general, right? Um, and if you were to draw a line or any line or polyline or whatever, if you hold the shift key, it's supposed to like, you know, toggle the ortho on and off. So we noticed that it was broken when we first, um, it wasn't broken, it was just wasn't set correctly when we first got the install. So if that's something that you use normally and it is, uh, wasn't working or it's not working, just um, make sure you go to the command line, type in temp override, and then set the value at one. Mine's currently set at one. So just set it at one and it should work. So those are the two things. I'm still kind of working on AutoCAD 2020, don't really know anything else um, that I had an issue with. I had, well, actually I had one more, but that one was just because my install was um, done incorrectly, that's all. Uh, I have a few more. So my next issue that I wanted to share, this was um, actually Denisa's issue. So, she had an issue where why is it not showing? She had an issue where she has a part, like a clip attached to this part or just any part. And the AP picture wasn't showing, right? And then we couldn't really figure it out. And then um, we went, you know, something that stuck out was that, you know, there's a decimal there, but we never really thought much of it, right? And then uh, she, I think she asked Chris and Chris was able to look into it and then notice that the decimal was there. So they tested it out, they tried it. And after they took out the decimal, the AP picture showed up. So she, she set everything correctly. It's just that decimal, the takeoff program doesn't like it. So if we take a look at, can't really see that picture, but if you take a look at the part number, there's a decimal there. So that's what they call out. It's like a different um, company system. 
So the takeout program doesn't like these decimals as a part number. So make sure when you put it in, if you see that, just take that out or else your AP picture is not gonna work correctly. Um, AP note dimension or So I'm sure this is pretty common. I'm sure Checker's seen it. We've seen it where you have these string of AP pictures and then you notice that there's one that's like the dimensions like, oh, the scale is off, right? So a lot of times for AP pictures, we like to copy from um, other parts and whatnot. So when we copy it over, for some reason, the scale um, gets uh, messed up. So um, one way to fix it is to go into your AP folder, find that attachment part. So in my case, it's a, so it's one of these. So I'm just gonna use these. I already fixed it. So I'm just gonna use these as an example. So if I open this, so it's already fixed. So imagine this is already like, this is small, right? So you have to type in style and then going in here the arc style needs to be set at zero as well. So when when it's like uh, the scale is kind of mess, is messed up, you'll notice that if you type in style in the AP um, file, the height is gonna be um, 0.125. So just set that as zero, right? And hit apply, and then just re-stretch your dimension. Well, don't like well, re-stretch it back to the correct spot, and then it will kind of readjust the scale back. But I know, like I've been kind of told, like um, various PEs that they kind of just go in there and scale it correctly. But this is a more um, at least. I've been doing it this way. So then the, the, the scale between the text or like the scale between the, the dimensions between the pictures are all the same. So you don't have to guess what the scale is when you're scaling up. So that's one, so that's the fix for that. Um, next one. So in your UD window, if you hit apply, so your UD window is this guy right here. So if you hit apply and then you have this error showed up, right? It just means that, you know, your this the answer right here, your description is blank for the use name. So it just can't be blank. So just make sure it's not blank and you're, you're good. So when you're drawing fabs, so this error is when you're drawing fabs or previewing fabs and you have this like E self-reference error that pops up that prevents you from previewing your fabs or even drawing it. So what happens here is, let's try to preview one of these. So this one is perfectly fine. So that error is directly related to your AP, your attachments, right? So inside all these attachments, it doesn't like it if it's a block. So if we do an edit, right? Right here. So these are these are not blocks, right? These are just lines and whatnot. So these this picture right here is directly related to the AP folder. Right. So you can open one of these. So if you have, say for instance, the same angle open this one if I have a block within this um, AP AP file the program's not going to like it and it's going to show that error every time you try to preview that particular file with that attachment okay so the fix is just to make sure you don't have any blocks within a block
And this last one I have. Uh, so this came up, I don't know how, when I was doing Santana West, I kept trying to delete this gasket. And every time I delete it, it crashes. So it bugged me a lot. And then, um, so I asked Zach, and then uh, him and I were looking at it and found out that, well, let me open this. So we found out that if you go in here, you notice that there's a zero ref edit um, layer and it's locked. So every time you were to go into edit mode for these uh, feature notes or even the notches, right? If you do an edit, it'll bring this up. Right, and it locks it. So we think what happened was when we were when someone was, um, when we were doing this fab, we we're doing a, like an edit note on these feature notes or notches, either the AutoCAD crashed or we closed it without and saved it or somewhere along this, or didn't save it. But we're thinking it's more or less like that the AutoCAD crashed and it just saved that template as like a backup or something. Um, we're not hundred percent sure, but we're just speculating that's the case. But if you ever come across an issue where, you know, you're trying to delete a feature note and it just keeps crashing on you. This is the fix for it. So you just go into here, unlock that uh, ref edit layer, go into your layer properties. Set, set the ref edit as the current layer select all of it, freeze it. So when you freeze it, it freezes all the layers except for the current layer. That's why you go into the ref edit layer. That's the one that you wanna have shown still. So you can, as you can see, nothing's here, right? But if you were to do an erase command and just select all, you notice that there's a, it's found one item. So it has some kind of phantom item somewhere that you can't really see. So just delete that, go back in here, right. unfreeze everything, go right. set your current layer back to zero, and the purge command, so you can purge the layer out of this template. And just delete. No crashes, nothing. So that's how you fix that one. Oh, I have one more. Um, So let's preview this horizontal. So a lot of times we have, again, for, uh, especially for doors, uh, we have attachments to it, right? Like the angles underneath the horizontal or angles above it. And then there's times we don't, it doesn't happen as often anymore, but there's times where these angles, the finish changes, right? All the way down to the weekly releases. Say for, for instance, right now, 
my current finish for the angle that gets attached to the underneath um, of the horizontal for the side light verticals. That angle is currently set as mill finish. And for some reason, if they call for a paint finish, right, you go in here and you say, okay, I have to change it back to change it to paint. And you'll notice that the angle mark numbers it has changed. So I'll just put it in fab. So this guy changed to paint. It's A61D. And then the angle on the side. Also change. So that's what, you know, say for instance, someone, for some reason specifically asked for your uh, attachment angles to be changed to paint, but you had already taken off as mil, all right? So if you preview the fab, the main extrusion with all the attachments, you'll notice that, so this is the side light that we're doing, right? So this picture right here. So it's the first two parts that gets attached. You'll notice that the mark number doesn't match the two attachments. So this is A9-1E for the two by two angle. And this one is A61D for the 5646, right? So what the program is doing right now is it doesn't, when I apply these clips, it doesn't take into consideration your finish, right? So if you change the finish, the program doesn't care. It was just, what it does is it'll take the first um, time you ever ran UPD and attach those parts. And if whatever um, time you run it, that's the mark number is gonna go. It's, it takes consideration your fab template name, okay? So a way to fix that is if you go into the metal Oh, thanks, Chris. It also ignores length, too. So it doesn't care about length, doesn't care about finish. It only cares about the fab template thing. So you go to the metal table. You go into the part you want. So in this case, two by two. And if first, you know, Let's just say the job doesn't need the mill finish anymore. Just delete the mill finish and it'll read the paint one. Okay. I'm not gonna do it here because it's actually the database I'm using for Santana West. So don't wanna screw it up. Um, yeah, just delete the ones that you don't need and uh, it'll, it will pick up the paint finish one. Uh, caveat to that, if your job requires you to have both paint and mill for some reason, right? Uh, and you need to keep it, you can't delete it, then you're gonna have to pick and then, you know, change the fab template for one of the attachments. Uh, we can't work, really work around that right now. We've talked about it to Zach and then I think um, there would be a fix, but then that means every time it attaches a part, it's reading more data. So it's probably gonna take more time to draw fabs is what his um, 
explanation is. So he doesn't think it's worth it, especially now. It doesn't really come happen as much anymore. Uh, at least I haven't gotten feedback from the shop, particularly with this um, mistake. So, but again, if this happens, um, now you kind of know how to fix it in the back end, but you have to really think carefully before you execute because you're dealing with the back end now. Um, that's it. I don't really have anything else in terms of the mistakes or the errors that I've documented. All the other ones doesn't really uh, apply here at least. So I'm done. Open up for discussions if you guys have any comments or questions. Hey, about that. Uh, go ahead, Chris. You go. You go first. About the um, that extra layer mm -hmm. that gets left behind. Yeah. Can't Zach, um, as part of his, you know, after he after you press that button to edit the uh, the note to check for that layer. And then delete that one thing in that, that hidden item in that, um, that rough edit layer, and then delete that. Like, just do that step for you. You know what you were showing. Mm -hmm. Like, freeze everything, delete that item, and then and then purge that layer, and then uh, or whatever. And I mean, like purge, not purge it, erase it, unfreeze everything, then purge it, right? Because it seems like it's repeatable. And oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it is, but it's just like, it doesn't happen like a lot. Like that was the first time, like I think it happened to me one time before this particular time for Santana was, like these fab templates. But it doesn't happen often. At least I don't know. It happened to me twice, maybe. So. Uh, this happens on gaskets mainly. Yeah. When I was working on... Uh... Lumen West um, fabs that were made already. Uh, it happened on stuff on the server. I was using for reference to copy gaskets out, and it would like error out. Just trying to copy it, it would crash my AutoCAD. Yeah. I didn't try to see if it had that rough edit layer. Uh huh. Um, but I can, uh, I guess I can look at that. Oh, so you're saying it, it happened too after you copied it and try to paste it into another one? Yeah, into oh. my um, my Lumen specific part number. It would crash AutoCAD just trying to copy it out. Yeah. Well, now that we're talking a little more about it, I'm wondering like when you do an edit note, I almost feel like the reason why it, it bombs out is because of it's locked, maybe. I've seen some. Some people, uh, when when they finish, instead of um, pressing save, mm -hmm. uh, the edit, they just save drawing. Yeah, that's what he was saying too. But then I, but usually when you do the save drawing, it'll ask you, do you want to save your note, right? Because I remember, um, if you don't save it, it's gonna crash. If you don't save the drawing, or, or if you try to just close it back then, right? It doesn't have that prompt. You try to close it without saving it or even discarding it. It'll just crash your AutoCAD. Oh. Yeah. Like if I'm in this mode right now, if I just close it, if I hit uh, no. Oh, it didn't crash, but, but it used to crash. Yeah. So I'd like to like run a, a script on all our, at least on my local S drive and see which of the ones on the server would have this rough edit problem? Yeah, no, I, I, I was thinking that too, because, you know, we don't really know until we actually just either delete it. And I only stumbled across it because Santana West has different gaskets, right? So I, we wouldn't really know unless something like that happens. So that it'll be good to have something run like that and check. I guess we can do it when we do our server cleanup. Yeah. We'll put that down. My question was related to that same item. Was that is that occurring only on a particular fab, or is it uh, when you're trying to do a particular task? No, it's it can happen 
across from any fab. It doesn't have to be that head or anything. Okay. It's just, it can be like a vertical. I could be editing like a, a gasket or something and then um, AutoCAD crashes. Maybe it saves a back backup or something like that and it just saves that layer. Because every time you, so what it does is every time, so you see how it doesn't have that edit layer, right? So every time you were to do an edit note, it brings that layer up and it's in lock. So if you, if it's crashes, right? I think AutoCAD kind of eerie that or this auto saves, I don't know the full explanation. Um, it just saves this layer in place, right? So it just, and then whatever that one is directly related to, which in this case is this um, notch, uh, then this one is quote unquote corrupted until you purge that layer away from this fat template. So it's not just the head, it's, it can happen anywhere. Anywhere with those kind of note or feature notes. Okay. Any other questions? I know we come across a lot of issues and stuff like that. So if you ever have uh, anything you want, just let me know. I'm starting to document these things. Or you guys can share. Are you gonna have like a, a, week, a page somewhere um, right. where we can refer to these errors? Uh, ha haven't come across yet. I think back in my head is like, yeah. But right now it's just all on my one note and document it here in this video. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I would think so. Uh, but we need to break it up into a few things, right? Like I just, I think um, listing it out is not an issue, but, but organizing it into like comprehensible like um, sections is, is with a hard part, right? I mean, at least for the, the takeoff decision, this one may be a little easier, like, okay, AutoCAD crashes related and then takeoff program related issues and, you know, so on and so forth, so. It was very educational, Eric. I have one little comment on the, uh, can you bring up the clip for the description? When you said like we were showing the description thing. The clip with the description. Yeah, the clip, something I said it needs to have description. Oh, the blank description, the one with uh, Romy's comment? So, yeah, so the basically, this is uh, the this error, it's not about this description. Oh. Uh, let me just share for a second. You, no, you can yeah. have blank description here, it doesn't you, really care. You want me to stop sharing? Yeah, I can just show you really quick. Um, I can stop sharing. But it, it is true, you, you have to have description, um, uh, but it, what it is, um, it doesn't really care so much about this description. Let's say it doesn't care, it doesn't freak out. It freaks out oh. if this description is blank. Oh. A lot. That's good to know. So it just, it may be like in his case, it was something, but for me, it's very often uh, freaks out if I put new miscellaneous and it's um, kind of like, it doesn't come up with description or it didn't synchronize yet, it freaks out. So you need to put something in. Okay. It freaks out. It just may be like expand on it, but uh, it basically said, uh, um, the way it spells it kind of, it tells you basically where it is, which description, it, 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 the error message tells you which one. Hey, hey Eric, Eric, yeah. th th does this happen still to you? The, which one, the description one? Yeah. Uh -huh. um, I mean, it probably happens when I'm just kind of very oh, but, I mean, but still happens, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, just, uh, I, I don't know why, because before it happens to me a lot, but I don't maybe sucks uh, did something right now. I, I haven't recalled this past year. I haven't recalled uh, have an error in that. I think well, usually me, it happens when you enter the new stuff, right, Eric? I uh, mean, yeah, when you enter new stuff. For me, like it, it, it happens, but I mean, I guess I never documented it because it usually, I, it fixes it relatively quick. 
you know, the ones that I mentioned, like I mentioned before, it was like, oh, I couldn't really figure it out at all unless I either talk to Zach or talk to Chris or talk to Yana, you know, specifically about these problems. Like, oh, have you come across this? Or even other peas, it's not just them, right? Like if I can't figure it out myself, then I, right. yeah. I don't know it's like this one particularly, like I comes across, I, I come across it here and there, but not, not as much. Cause I'm not the one, I don't input a lot of things often so hey so that can you sh bring up that error from the missing description yes because so i can put uh i can erase the description in a miscellaneous and it doesn't give me an error Does everyone see my screen yeah okay it gives me error. so here it says acad use dot description mm -hmm. so it tells you it's in the acad use and not in ACAD MISP. So that's what Yana was saying. It tells you where, uh, if you pull up the UD window, it, you, you can see, um, you know, the UD windows divided into sections. Yeah. So you see detail on the top left of that. So that's the ACAD detail. Mm -hmm. And then on the right side, that would be ACAD use. Mm -hmm. And then on the bottom, it would be ACAD assembly. Yeah. And then below that, it would be ACAD miss instead mm -hmm. of miscellaneous. So it, it, it will, it will tell you anyway. So yeah. I erased the, I erased, I erased the description on a, on a fastener and it yeah. let, and it let me, you know, didn't give me an error, hmm. but I think it's, so it's, it I think it's only like when it's, you, when you enter it first, I think, I mean, I can, I can modify those descriptions after I can do whatever I want. I think when you just enter it first and apply it, fix out. And I think it's all what it is. It basically tells you what it is. Just read it carefully what it says. Yeah, so for that one that Romy had, it said ACAD use and not ACAD MISC. So it'll be like this one right here, right? Yes, for some reason. It, because I have a yeah. bunch of uses blank and it doesn't pick out on me. I mean, yeah. those descriptions and they use, I don't know. But it does pick out on below on the part and on the salines. Well, I mean, like Chris was saying, like it, it's a lot of times the error put, pops up, it kind of is self-explanatory. At least not, not self-explanatory, but it gives you an idea of what's wrong. In this case, it's an ACAD use description. So now that we know that ACAD use is right here, ACAD detail is right here, ACAD assembly is right here, we get an idea of what does it mean, right? So description, um, what is it? Can I be yeah, it's, it's, help, it's helpful that it tells you what it is, kind of like at least you know where to look, but like the one you show with the layers, it's like no freaking oh, idea yeah. what it is. Yeah, I don't think a lot of people, that was actually, should have been my finale. <laughs> but um, no, it's not that heavy. Really. But yeah, yeah, so, yeah, there's a lot of errors that are very cryptic. Mm -hmm. So that, that's the one that I, I was trying to encapsulate a lot. Like so far, I only having that one. I know I come across a lot more, um, at least through my years here, but I just never took the time. I, to, yeah. I can just so, keep track of it and send it to you when I come across something. I just never really. Yeah, no, that's good. I, I, if you like, like a lot of these, of I present actually, them once in a while. Yeah, it's good. I, I, a lot of these, I ask Chris and Ryan. In you know our uh, nine o'clock meetings, like hey, you guys come across anything? Let me know. I'm putting together like a little page of just errors, right? Or just anyone. It's not just them too. Um, you know this one right here. I think it was from Chris. You know, so and a lot of times, like a lot of people ask Chris, like, oh, what's going on here? So I think it's better to just document. So I'm sure he has a lot of things too. So yeah, I'm just starting to document these things. So if you guys have any issues, not Maybe not just the PE, like if the PCs have any like issues that they come across and then they have a fix for it, just let me know, I'll put it in there. Blue beam issues, no, maybe. Yep, we can be on the lookout for that. Cool. All right, until next time. Stay tuned for episode three, maybe. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Eric.
Thank you, Eric. Eric. That Thank was you. Uh, yeah. very informative. Thanks, Eric. Enlightening. Thanks, Eric. Enlightening. No problem. See you, everyone. Thanks, Eric.